Hey Jits, and welcome back to my channel. I am your host, Daffy Roth, and in this video, we're going to be continuing our playthrough of Resident Evil 3 Nemesis for the PlayStation 1. Now, I've already uh, done a lot of this, what's coming up here. Um, my recording software failed to work for me, so it is what it is. But, uh, so, that being said, I'm going to stick to the choices that I made before. Um, and uh, we will go from there. So in our last episode, we managed to uh, take down Nemesis twice more. We got the uh, the Cowboy Custom. Um, and uh, yeah, I, it's a little bit different from what I had before because, like I said, I had to go back through and fight Tyrant again and everything else. So things lineup's a little bit different than what I had before, but that's fine. So, um, but anyways, we took him down twice. We got the, uh, the new shotgun, um, and, uh, we got everything we needed to get the, the trolley going. So that's what we're going to do in this episode. We're going to see where it takes us, um, and see if we can get to safety, which is what we all been working for. So, um, so yeah, without further ado, uh, agents to sit back, relax, and, uh, let's get to it. Let's get this trolley on the track, so to speak. All right, fuse is good. Let's get that oil in there. Oil's good. All right, and let's, uh... Jill's putting her, uh... Shop glasses to use. It looks like we're ready to go. Here, take this. Thanks, bud. What I always wanted. Okay. Uh, Nikolai won't be joining us. I understand. I'll operate the cable car. Let's go. What if I want to operate it? Why do you get to operate it? Nikolai appears to be in pain. Mikhail appears to be in pain and suffering. But you don't trust me to drive the cable car? Why do you get to? It's looking good. Oh boy. I could have done that. Wow, you went all of 10 feet and you already broke it. Way to go, Carlos. Mikhail! All right, we'll go check it hey, out. what's going on in the back? I don't know. You check it out. You're the man. Go. Hey, what's going on in the back? Oh man. The hell. And send me back there. Ugh. Judging by the music, it's only one thing. Stars. Oh, yep, Carlos could come too. Oh, wait, guess not. Get out not. of the cable car now! Mihail, wait, don't! Get out of here! Hurry! Oh, last minute. We're gonna make a last stand. I mean, it's technically out of ammo, so I don't really know what you want to do with it. Get him, Jeremy Irons. <laughs> Blew him out of the train. Mikhail. Oh, you did. You knew him for all of two seconds, and you were a bitch at doing him, anyways. See, you broke it. No, Way to go, Carlos. All right, we're gonna use the emergency brake. I love that Carlos jumped out the... And then we saw the... The flash, that means we're already dead. Carlos did went and save his own life. Let's see how it is, bud. Thanks. Thanks for hanging in there with me.
All right, so here we are. We crashed the, uh... Crashed it. That's the thing. Well, we use the emergency brake. Oh, and well, hey, look at this. We failed upwards and we crashed into the clock tower. But fuck off, we're gonna fight with these stupid things. See ya! Oh, crap. No! Damn birds! Oh my god. All I want are those stupid blue herbs. Again. Bird B.O.W.s. I have my knife. I just don't feel like wasting ammo on them. The, uh, the front doors of the church are locked, so... Alright, we're gonna limp our way in. Stupid birds. It looks as if it has not been used for a long time. Well, it's, uh... It's definitely ominous. Well, the good news is, is we are now safe. Not all these blue herbs, but a lot of other stuff. Will you take the clock T tower? <laughs> I wanted to say clock tower key, that's really what it is, so... I mean, at least we don't have a giant dude with scissors chasing after us. To get that reference, anyways. So... There is that, we just have a giant... Oh, well, that's... Not a good sign. Alright, so let's... Well, let's do some inventory management. Um, I don't want to heal quite yet. I don't think how I want to do this. Let's go ahead and put these in here. No. You know what? Let's... Let's give them a try. Alright. Let's see if the flame rounds are going to have any more uh, success than the regular ones. Oh, I turned around the wrong way. Son of a gun. All right. Well, I will be back after this. So I did miss three green herbs out in the yard, so hey, there's that. But 
what we're gonna do here is I want to maximize this fight. So what I mean by that is I know um, what we're gonna do is try to take these things out, and then I'll I'll do the double herbs. So, but let's let's go. Also, whatever hit the ceiling broke the save room music. It's not cool. Alright. Yeah. Uh, that gun's worth sad though. Alright, well then. I'll take that. All right, where are we going? EV is the clock T. E. I I don't think I can say that legitimately. Clock T. Carlos, I don't believe it. You're alive. I'm not sure how we're going to get out of this town. What are you talking about? We made it! You don't get it. They have no intention of letting us make it back alive. Do you really think we can trust their great evacuation plan? Huh, it's just a piece of paper. But we don't have any other choice than to trust them right now. No, if we're going to die, then we should get to choose when it happens. Ew, bitch slap. So that's it then, huh? You're giving up? I don't think that's what he was saying, no. but okay. I just... I can't handle it. <laughs> but that slap, bitch slap, and he runs away like a little bitch. Um, I, I really kind of feel like all he was trying to say is, is that like, hey... You know, I'm going to choose how we die in that umbrella, but, you know, whatever. Alright. Uh, let's see here. Alright, will you take the mind thrower? Yes, I will. He is holding something in his hand. Well, I guess he should have learned how to use this before. Order for the UBCS Echo Team. Wipe out the downtown area of the infestation, and then evacuate the remaining citizens to the clock tower. Among the civilians, remember to give priority to the employees of Umbrella's affiliates. Remember to stay alert because the infected have a high endurance rate and will strike without hesitation. Evacuation Procedure 1. Once the mission is complete, or when it becomes too impossible to accomplish, evacuate immediately. We'll deploy a helicopter that is waiting in the suburbs to the yard in front of the clock tower. Well, we kind of wrecked the yard in front of the clock tower. When you're ready for evacuation, ring the bell of the clock tower to signal the helicopter. That is like the worst, the worst plan I think I've ever heard. Mercenary corpse, he might have died fighting. He might. Like, that is just not the best. Like, why? Like, there are so many other tower bells, obviously. There's one on the, uh, that's just a dumb plan. Dumb plan, Umbrella. I wonder why Carlos is like, hey, yeah, what about radios? What, you not have radios? Radio? That's probably what they, Umbrella's like, radio? What's with that radio? Oh, that one's broke. An old music box, this melody is out of order. Yeah, I'd say so.
guess we should unlock the front. You open the lock. Alright, what's this? This really sounds familiar. To what? I don't know. It seems to be an old music box. It seems that my insides want to be on the outside. Oh, oh no, no. Oh, come on. These can't be that hard to kill. There's a whole subsection on the internet for this, too. Except they did have to usually be bare feet or in heels, which is... Wait, what? I don't know what I'm talking about. Freaking African jumping spiders. I pull out the knife. Oh my gosh, it should not be this hard to step on these things. Cereal. Alright, there we go. And we got some rounds. Yes. Ooh, shotgun with a grenade launcher? Yes. Uh, there's nothing suspicious here. Nothing at all. It's locked. The God of Time is etched under the keyhole. Okay. Um. All right. Art picture postcard. A picture postcard of antique clocks. The following verse is printed. Give your soul to the goddesses. Uh, put your hands together to pray for her. Okay. Um, yep. I'll take that. There's nothing suspicious here. Not at all. Just books thrown and strewn about. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Everyone stores their books like that. Old books are scattered here. Okay. We are in the safe room. Let's see what we have here. Hmm. Righty, let me see what we got here. We definitely are gonna have quite a bit to do here. Definitely don't need these. Um, definitely don't need this right now. I mean, this was okay, I guess, but I need to see if there's anything else in here. Nope. Oh, well, there we go. Man, something just keeps smashing things. Alright, so I don't think that I actually ended up using the, uh... So I, since I made the, um... Actually, for right now, let's go ahead and put this away, and then... Let's 
since I made the ice rounds, I didn't actually make handgun rounds, so I think that's going to throw off the number for the high high grade ones. Now, I am curious on whether or not you can make like high grade shotgun shells because I mean, honestly, that would just be amazing. I would just use those. Especially with this gun. This gun just like freaking sprays the room. Fantastic. I, mean, I guess someone just lives at the clock tower, huh? This is the Big West Hotel and Restaurant. Alright, well, there's nothing else here, so... And out we go. Oh, here come the zombies from hell. The good news is, is I don't have to fight them. We already got everything we need from this room, so... No need to waste the ammo. So what I am going to go ahead and do, though, is I am going to go ahead and I'm going to store the... <laughs> Alright, just ate dinner, so... Um, I am going to go ahead and make some extra rounds here. Because it would be nice to be able to make the high grade for the high powered. But it would just be nice to have some extra pistol ammo, anyways. Um. And then we'll go ahead and store the. I wonder if I can actually mix these. Yep, okay, so we are, we may need that. Went up here. Alright, so we'll go ahead and save this. Alright, so here we go. We're, we're pretty good on health. Well, okay, health we're not fantastic on, but we, we, we can heal if we need to. Stupid freaking African jumping spiders. All right. Now, well, it looks like someone's coming to crash the party. Yep, that's what I thought. Eight legged freaks. Nope, just reset those. I just hate these little spiders, are just so annoying. I mean, if you think about it though, this is like, you know, coming at it from an operative standpoint and an agent standpoint that we are evaluating, you know, the use of uh, BOWs. I mean, as far as that is concerned, wow, way to go. Um, it does make sense that, you know, coming at it from a bioweapon standpoint, the idea that you can shoot, uh, you know, you have some these spiders, um, that once you kill them, they just unleash even more terror. A fixture that lights the hour plate of the clock. All right. Oh, what do we got? That's some red herbs, though. That's good. There's a keyhole on the ornamental copper plate. We use the clock T key. Yes, I will. 
You no longer need this key. Will you discard yeah. it? Yes. Yes, I will. Will you push the switch? Eh. No. Yeah, I did. <laughs> will you push the switch? Yes, I will. Well, let's let Nemesis know that we're here. Gonna use the light. <clears throat> Let's blind him. See ya. Would want to be ya. I mean, it's not really like a best that far of a fall, anyways. To be honest, it's like one story. Let's. Will you go up the ladder? Yes, I will. Into the... Oh, look, there's even more... ...ammunition. <clears throat> right, so let's go ahead and pull out. Let's go ahead and use this. There we go. I, I wasn't sure if I'd get poison coming through that hallway. So... Well, to be honest, I could probably end up still needing it, but oh well. Alright. All right. <clears throat> will you take the silver gear? Yes, I will. I will indeed take the silver gear because we can go put that in the clock thing over there. Sorry, excuse me. All right. This in here. Huh, well, that does not work. Nothing happens. A beautifully ornamented gadget. All right, what's this? All right, music box with elaborate ornamentation. There are switches marked A to F. Will you operate the switches? Yes. So I'm not going to lie. The first time I did this, I got stuck on it because I wasn't sure what it wanted me to do. Um, but now I do. Like, it, yeah. All right, so that's not what we want. Dang it. And music box with elaborate ornament. Yes. So essentially what we want to do is we want to, for whatever reason, I was like, well, what does it want me to do? Like, you know, it's already playing it. Like, why do I need to adjust the pegs? But the reason for it is because we basically need to match 
this bottom part here with the music. So right now, A, we're going to go up. Um, go next. We're good on that one. We're good on that one. All right, we're on D, so let's go. Nope, not on that one. Yep, that's good. Um, that's good. That's good, so we'll go ahead and play. Will you take the chrono machine? Yes, I will. The chain made to adore a god of time. There's a small screw hole near the ornament. Alright, awesome. And that's it for this place right now. Will you go down the ladder? Yes, I will. So I believe this is the key that will open up that door. So we got two instances in which the what if machine will <coughs> let us see the ads less travel. I wasted a lot of grenade ammo. I'm kind of upset on that. I just kept firing at the ground like a derp. It's this way. Stupid spiders. Oh, they're gone. You use a Kronos Cree. You no longer need this key. Wow, all that work just to use that key once. It was a pretty looking key. <clears throat> nope. Damn spiders. Oh, dude, he came right at me. They'll find though. <clears throat> okay, what is going on here? Mercenary's pocketbook. September 26th, it's been only three hours since the mission started, but the team is down to me and Campbell. The number of the zombies is far greater than we expected. I mean, dude, you're, it's a city. There is no hope left for this city. We have already injected the antibody for the virus, but I'm not sure that it will work. I don't know if I will survive. September 27th, we managed to reach the clock tower. Out of desperation, we robbed some wounded members of their, of their weapons and used surviving citizens as decoys. We weren't taught to do this. We were taught to do this in order to survive in the battlefield, but I never enjoyed it. However, a girl showed me it, showed up at the clock tower before me. She is one of the survivors. She looks just like my sister before she starved to death. Dang. September 28th, I wanted to uh, evacuate as soon as possible, but the girl didn't. Her father insisted that he wouldn't leave the city where his beloved wife rests in peace. I really wanted to save the girl, but Campbell said, all I care about is our lives. That's how I feel before, but now the clock tower has become a dangerous place and I don't want to make any more mistakes. You've taken the, Merc the Merc's pocketbook. 
an umbrella mercenary. Seems like he died trying to shield someone's daughter. Well, I mean... Question is, from who or from what? We take the MT rounds? Yeah, I will. A spare bell for the clock tower. It would take incredible strength to move it. The bell must have been set here to shut out the invaders. A maiden statue holding a tray. An amber ball is on the tray, so that's a maiden. Well, they're all maidens. Obsidian ball. So I'm not... I'm not exactly sure. I was on this puzzle for a minute, too. Um, it doesn't... In my opinion, it's not really clear in the postcard. Like, there is one point at which I did have the right thing, but it still didn't go, so... I don't know. Let's try underneath the picture. Will you put the crystal ball in the tray? Sure. Uh, let's try obsidian. And then let's try. Nope, that was. Try amber here. And then uh, put the crystal portion. Yeah, I'm not sure really what the... I mean, it has... it's that pose card that we found, um... So... Uh... Picture postcard. But it doesn't... I don't know. I don't know. I just work here. All right, so obviously we're going to combine those and we'll go ahead back upstairs. All right, and so from here on out, I have no clue what's coming. Because I got stuck on both of those puzzles because I derped out pretty hard. Oh, yeah, that's right. Will you take the grenade rounds? Yes, I will. His face is twisted with an expression of pain. He seems to have died from poisoning. As did we almost at one point in time in another life. All right, so we are going to head. Um, back up to the clock tower. Hopefully Carlos is done acting like a little bee. Like this clock tower is more of a mansion than it is uh, 
clock tower traditionally, anyways. Stars. No. All right, here we go. You got the ladder? Yes, I will. We'll go ahead and plop this in here and ring the bell. I still think this is a terrible rescue, you know, rescue operation. There we go. I just kind of want to get ready just in case. And away we go. Ooh, I like the, ch the change in the sound as you go down from the inside to the outside. It's pretty cool. That's a nice little, uh, nice little effect. Oh, there really was a helicopter. You're saved. Down here! It's finally over. Huh? It's all right. Deal with you. We dealt with you before. Oh no! Not with the tentacle monster. Jill. Carlos to the rescue, jumping through the fire. How come I can't blow up his rocket? That yep, blew his load, now he's going to sleep. I'll tell you what though, at least he doesn't have this glaring huge, you know, weak spot that his heart gets on the outside of his body, like the tyrant. Like in the remake. Darn it. <laughs> For fudge's sakes. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll be right back. What's it like to play the Nintendo Entertainment System? Entertainment system. Now you're playing with power. All right, and we're back. Oh, away. Oh, damn it! I got stuck in a stupid corner. Oh, and I got speared by a tentacle monster. Dang it! Back. 
Yeah, stars, stars. Jill, what are you looking at? Something is funny. It looks like she's like looking at something like way off in the distance. Yeah, just darts and mines. Oh, quick! That is no. I do not give consent to tentacle nonsense. No, I should have gone the other way. Good night, dude. That's out of ammo. Oh, come on. Just damn it, I'm dead. Well, that was a good attempt. We will try again here in a second. Back again. Stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so kind of following off of our last attempt, we're just going to shoot the mines directly at him. Tentacle monster, not today. Jill, for fudge sakes, dear. Oh, I got caught on the corner. That's over, it's it. It's done, though. Once I'm in the corner, I can't. Well. Look at him, he's on ice skates. <laughs> that didn't even hit me. Dude, that corner is really screwing me over. Look at him, he like covers like 20 feet. Just literally by Jill again. He's behind you, hon. He is behind you. Oh, he done just tentacle whip me in the face. All right, well, that was way worse. Alright, here we go. Stars! Yeah, yeah, stars. Okay. Not today, game. You will not have my frustration. Except for when it does things like that.
Come on, Jill, he's over there. there, Nemi. This dude is, like, ridiculous. Like... It's the Energizer Bunny. Around, Jill. Oh my god, that was... Well, whatever. I'm still alive, I guess. Don just pulled a football move on me. Oh. That was a bad... Yeah, go into the flames. In the night, that's probably gonna kill him. Carlos. Uh. Yep, some pair we make. October 1st, night. I woke up to the sound of falling rain. I can't believe I'm still alive. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, those are some lewd sounds. Carlos? It looks like our roles have been reversed from when we originally met, huh? Don't worry, Jill. This chapel is safe. I've been infected by the virus, haven't I? Hey! Take it easy. I'm okay. Don't feel any pain. But that's what bothers me. 
If I can't feel anything, then what does that mean? Don't give up, Jill. I'll take care of you. Whatever you do, don't let that virus beat you. If I turn into a zombie, <laughs> don't hesitate. I want your word that you'll kill me. If I turn into a zombie... Alright guys, well, that fight took incredibly a long time, so I'm going to have to do some editing on this one as well. With that being said, look forward to some uh, good action with Carlos in our next episode. I guess he's going to be taking over. Look forward to our two what-if machines. Um, so our two what-if scenarios. So that should be fun. And uh, yeah. Well, I'm going to head over to the what-if machine, guys. You all have a... I don't even know where I'm going with this. So... Yeah, well, hey, I'll see you guys in a second, right after this. Tonight, when the movie ended, his quest began. I left her once, about 15 years ago. Now, Starman's reunited with the woman he loved. We have orders to open fire. Stay with me. Starman, tonight at 8, 7, 7. <laughs> Hello, agents, and welcome to the What If Machine. I have been waiting for you. All right, let's see here. So we had the uh, the two choices are to jump out the window and to use the emergency brake. So we use the emergency brake in the game. So what we're going to do is use the jump out the window. So I have a pause here. So let's go ahead and I'll pause, and uh, we will see what the choices of our uh, actions lead us. <laughs> That's actually kind of a funny. <laughs> Chills is like, nope. Basically, we just do what the freaking what's his name did. Uh, Carlos. Carlos was like, nah, I'm out. Ah, I see, but we start here instead. Okay. Interesting. So it just gives us an alternate path into the. All right, well, see, that's actually the biggest, uh, one of the bigger changes so far is that it starts you off here at the clock tower, um, but you don't get the, uh, uh, all of the ammo stuff, so, yeah, okay, well, there we go, that's, uh, we have, that's, as soon as I learn how to speak English, and just for, we're gonna set them on fire even some more. Oh, that one's fast. So, um, so yeah, it looks like the correct answer is to use the, uh, uh, use the emergency brake to get into the clock tower, which makes more sense. Uh, it kind of sucks that you lose all your uh, powder, though. I mean, else it happens to be like somewhere else. So I wonder if Carlos dies. We should should we go farther in and see what's going on with Carlos? Why don't we? <clears throat> Since we're examining all paths. Carlos. Whew. Well, we both managed to survive. Maybe we can start helping each other again. Yeah, it's been rough. But we can rest now. No, we're the only ones left. There's no rest for the wicked. Here's a gift for you. Ah, but he gives you more freeze rounds. So he doesn't act like a little bitch in that one. He doesn't get slapped. I prefer the slapping. If <laughs> I don't my, my opinion on the matter, which you probably don't, but 
Um, I think I would rather take the uh, the powder, honestly, and the other scene. Um, but it is nice to see the other the other side of things. Um, I'm just I'm I'm kind of just taking a look to see if there's any powder elsewhere. There's some grenade uh, grenade rounds, but I think they were already there anyways. <clears throat> All right, yeah, there's nothing else. Oh, okay, so it does put them in here. Okay, so you, you do end up getting them, um, it's just farther along, so... Honestly, if I have to be honest, this is the, uh... This is the better path. You get ice rounds, plus you get, um, all of the, uh... Everything else that comes with it, so... Yeah, I don't know. Kinda tempted to, uh, to keep this one and, uh, go from there, but... Yeah, it is what it is. We'll stick with our we'll, we'll stick with our choices, despite the freeze rounds being incredibly useful. So, but uh, all right, guys. Well, hey, um, we're gonna check out the other one now. So let's see here. Um, okay. Well, I'll be back in just a second. I'm going to go uh, change the tapes. All right. Ch tapes are changed. So, uh, and we dialed it back a little bit forward. And so now here we are. So we used the light the last time to stun him. So now we're going to use the cord. I'm not entirely sure what cords you're talking about. Game is paused with uh, Nemesis doing his um, come at me, uh, come at me stance. So, whatever, dude. So, all right. Well, without further ado, let's do this. Oh, well, all in all, that was the better. We chose wrong, I think, on both the choices this time around. Um, so, well, that's sad. I like the, uh, drops the first aid there. So I might just, uh... I'm curious if he disappears. If he disappears, that's that's kind of cool. But if he gets back up again, um, that's bad news bears. Oh, is he coming back at me? Yep. So don't know if it's worth the trade-off between the two, honestly. Um... The trade-off between the, uh... You know, and now having to fight him. Um... I don't know if it's worth the, uh... I am just kind of curious if we can get him down. Yeah, 
yeah, yeah. He's just yelling stars now every time he gets hit. Oh, come on. Oh, well, I didn't want to do that. Oh my gosh, dude, this guy is just like... Yeah, I don't think it's worth it, if you want to know my opinion on that. I, I honestly don't. Um, I mean, sure, you get you get the extra ones, and sure, you can probably just have him chase you through the... Uh, through the clock tower. I mean, you could use the ice rounds, but that kind of offsets the two. So, honestly maximizing because you get the two red herbs here anyway so if you you maximize your efforts um you know maximize your stuff there you kind of get that right there so i don't know we'll see but uh all right well that that takes care of this uh this segment of the what if machine so i would say probably the better choice is to jump out the window um and then use the uh, use the light rather than the cord um it just avoid this fight altogether so that's my opinion so but all right guys well hey if you like this video as always like comment and subscribe comment definitely you know it is is the support part of things right so i really greatly appreciate it um if you like some of the changes i'm making let me know so if you like with these uh, the little commercial breaks and whatnot, um, if not, I can always drop them. I, I, I kind of have a fun with it. So um, it just depends on how often uh, <laughs> I die and have to do a break. But with that being said, everybody, um, I'll s check out the, the creators in the description down below. Um, it's they're all equally and awesome people. Uh, congratulations on 1000 subs lady random you've earned it so hopefully you get that community tab unlocked so with that being said everybody um may all of your prayers protect you from those things that go bump in the night until next time friends stay healthy stay happy this is Adrian Daffy Roth signing off bye bye